Hey guys, it's me, Stormy, and here is your weekly horoscope for the week of March 5th. Happy March, by the way. Hopefully you have gotten your 36,000 subscriber gift, which is up until March 10th. Hopefully you're signed into classes, $3 Thursdays, lots of good stuff going on. Check the description box down below. Man, what a week this week. It is busy. We have a lot of change happening this week. We've got Mercury and Venus changing signs, Jupiter's changing directions. We've got daylight savings time. Mars and Uranus are going to come in into a trine this week so we've got a lot of action going on this week so don't freak out let's just talk about it piece by piece okay so first and foremost we've got venus and mercury both moving into the sign of aries so this is a sign change whenever we have a sign change there is just kind of a different feel to the energy it can be a little bit like a stutter step especially because mercury is moving into aries but it's moving in a shadow capacity because it's getting ready to take its retrograde in just a few weeks right so mercury is really still Still not at full blast it's definitely in the shadow time but what happens here is when mercury gets into Aries of course it starts to act a little bit fiery right conversation gets forceful we have more of it it's busy um, your conversation with people and people's conversation with you remember this as well so you can back down your defenses people may be talking to you and it feels like they are coming direct at you they're very abrupt it's very forceful you know gauge this you guys gauge this is this person really trying to be douchebaggy or are they trying to say something and maybe it's just not coming out right when our communication planet is in any type of shadow capacity we're gonna start to have interesting communication. And when Venus gets into Aries, she's not really comfortable because she has to start acting very fiery as well. And here's the thing, you know, Aries energy is like, I do what I want. We are ramming forward and Venus does not move in that capacity. So she's quite uncomfortable. So in the relationship and social bubble, you really have to watch those defenses this week and think about it. Think about what you're saying to other people. You know, you want to speak directly, you want to speak forcefully, you want to speak abruptly, speak love to people, speak joy, speak humor to people this week, right? Try and work on that because other than that, your defenses are going to be up. Somebody says something to you and you're like, you know, and we don't need all of that. Now, where this is also very, very good is that your communication will be getting some things done. You've had enough, you're ready to move some things forward, and Venus will help to pull a bit of butter on there, okay? She is still Venus, so in her own way, she's shining big, she's shining bright, she will try and bring diplomacy, but she's also going to get on board with Mercury because they like to travel together. And she's going to say, mm, I know I get it, but we got to get stuff done now, but we don't have to be, you know, hateful while we're getting it done. So, Watch that speed up that's gonna happen. Now, one of the other things that happens for sure here is that I would tell you to watch your, not just your social relationships, but watch your romantic relationships as well. They probably didn't mean what they said. If, if they said something and you took offense to it, they probably meant it another way. You know what I'm saying? So consider that this week, okay? Now, on Thursday the 8th, March 8th, Jupiter is going to turn retrograde, and it's going to be retrograde for four months. Now, Jupiter has been in Scorpio, so giving us some depth and some expansion to our intensity, emotional intensity, bringing these fears that we've had up to the surface so that we can work on them, and just bringing wisdom all around for our healers and teachers in the meta metaphysical spaces. Um, there's probably been a lot of shift in your energy. You've probably been noticed maybe more students or more information coming your way or more um, desire to talk or to speak or to teach or to do something like that. And that is amazing because that level of intensity creates change. Now, when Jupiter takes this retrograde in Scorpio, we're going to go back inside, right? Where is your emotional intensity? What is coming up for you? What is your inner guru saying for you? What is the wisdom you've learned and you're seeing about yourself as you're changing and as you're moving forward and you're watching yourself do new and different things? Now, if you happen to have Jupiter retrograde in your natal chart, What's going to happen when Jupiter goes retrograde in the transit is that instead of being forced more inside, you already live towards the inside, that inner guru, watching yourself, studying your own truth. You're going to be pushed to the outside, right? So you may have some outside truths coming your way. Some information may be coming your way um, in terms of new opportunities, but the truth is, are you ready to step up and do that? You could also have some truths coming your way. You could have opportunities to teach your whole time during the next four months will be so much more outward expansion than that inward expansion of know thyself. So keep that in mind if you do have Jupiter retrograde in your natal chart, okay? Now, when we get to Sunday, March 11th, we've got 
Mars and Uranus in a trine. And what's interesting about this is because when these two interact, depending on their aspect, it can be warring, it can be awesome. This happens to be awesome and it's a little bit um, unusual because Mars wants action here, right? He wants to go, he wants to do his thing and Uranus is like, I'm good, let's do a thing, but we're gonna do it different, okay? And so this is a great opportunity for you to try to do some things unexpectedly, differently, spontaneously, get out of your bubble. Remember, Uranus breaks down the structures we have if you've been in a rut, right? Because he's also very intuitive. He's like, oh, I just can't be here anymore. I got to do something different. So if that's the way you've been feeling or you've been feeling like nothing's working or hell, even if you've been feeling like my life is so freaking good right now, I can't even. Okay, great. Go do something different. Talk to somebody different. Move your body differently. Take the opportunity this week to experience the different of what's going on. Plus, you know you've got this fierce conversation out there. Might as well use it this week to go talk to some new people. Get your product out there a different way. Write your paper differently. Whatever it is and however this hits your individual charts, use this energy to break out of your comfort zone and break out of your norm. Then when we get to um, later in the day, around uh, 2 p.m. time, just depending on where you are, that's just a kind of roundabout number, we're also going to have daylight savings time here in the United States. So we're going to fall back. It's time to lose an hour of sleep, so get yourself prepared for that. If you have you know, cell phones, most of them reset themselves, but just remember in your house that it's going to be an hour different. You know, this jacks everybody up. Like, Every time we have daylight savings time, which I'm actually a very big fan of, people just get all jacked up. So keep in mind, we've got that coming. You're gonna lose that hour of sleep, so let's get ready to readjust. And we're, we're not gonna fall back, we're gonna spring forward. What am I saying? We're going to spring forward. So make sure that you are adjusting to that, that, um, that time change as well, because it's time to be out. It's time to be bubbly. It's time to be doing things. It's time to be like, I don't need all of this sleep. I need to be out. I need to be cute. I need to get this bikini on, right? I need to share myself with the world. So get ready to spring forward, not fall back. You see what I'm saying, you guys? When Mercury retrograde is on upon us, things get crazy. All right, guys, it's going to be a busy week. It's going to be a cool week. I'd love to hear about what you're doing different. I'd love to hear about how this is hitting your personal charts. If you don't know what in the heck I'm talking about when I say it's hitting your personal chart, come visit me, get a reading, go see Barbara, go see Terrence, go see Michelle, go see somebody and let somebody walk you through what's going on in your chart and give you some good, beautiful, delicious guidance. All right, guys, I love you a ton. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next week.